When it comes to paint, mill scale, rust, all the textbooks will tell you you can't and shouldn't weld through it. But I reckon we can find something that can. Why on earth would you weld on rusty metal instead of prepping it? Well, there might be a couple reasons why you wouldn't go about cleaning off the rust. I think the biggest problem would be is you just simply can't get to it. It's just something you can't reach with some sort of a tool or a brush, or you at least got as much of it as you could off. The second reason would probably be because you're lazy. So we're gonna probably go with the second reason today. We're gonna be lazy welders. We're just gonna try to find the right process that's gonna be able to cut, dig through some heavy rust. I've got this configuration. It's just some junk that I had in the back, some scrap, some old drill stem that is just absolutely fried. And even this base plate here, it's been sitting out gathering some good rust. I was able to tack it together no problem with the process that I won't get into just yet. We've got the Thunder 255 MTS right here from Everlast. It is a multi-process machine, so it's gonna be perfect. We've got all of our consumables and our torches and everything we need that usually comes with the machine. I upgrade myself to a couple different things like an Abacor Benzel MIG gun or my heavy hitters TIG rig. I even change out the stinger on the top. We got all of our electrodes. We're gonna be running some 70S6 MIG wire. We're going to be running some dual shield flux core wire, some 7018, 6010s, and some TIG. Some of these processes are not going to handle this whatsoever. And some of them are just going to be like a cakewalk. 